Okay, I'm going to share something I just learned about the DJI FPV drone. I've had this drone for two years and I've got like uh, over 400 flights on it, but I never knew that it had an audio port on the goggles where you can actually listen to the drone while you're flying. And uh, I'll show you how that, uh, where that connects. So on the goggles right next to where the battery port is, there's a little port right there for the, uh, for the headsets. And there you go. So the last couple dozen flights, I've been using the goggles with the headsets. And uh, this is just a really great tool to improve my flying when I'm, especially when I'm flying in manual. So without the headsets, when you're flying the drone, as soon as it gets out there more than about 1,500 feet away, the sound that you hear coming back to your ears is delayed by several seconds. And uh, it's really important to know what the motor is doing instantaneously. So by using these, uh, this headset here, you get instantaneous feedback in real time as to what these motors are actually doing. And that's really important. When you're flying in sport mode or normal mode, the audio feedback's not that critical because you don't really have direct control of the throttle anyway. It's indirect. As soon as you put the controller in the manual, now you have direct control of the throttle of the drone. And that's really important to have that feedback to reinforce the position of where your throttle is. Without that, when the drone is out there, let's say a mile away or whatever, and uh, you're inverted, you have no idea sound-wise as to what the motors are doing. You can't hear them. And so you're only relying on the stick itself. But when you can actually hear it in the goggles, in your headset, then that just reinforces the position of the uh, throttle. When you're flying inverted or you're doing uh, maneuvers like uh, rolls and loops and other freestyle maneuvers, it's really critical that you have that reinforcement so that you can uh, really fly uh, efficiently and improve what you're doing and not make a mistake. Make sure you have enough throttle to pull out of a dive. All of that is, is really reinforced by having this headset. So for me, for the last few dozen flights, I've been using the headset and I'm finding now that I, I just have to have it. It's, it's critical. Without it, again, you're just going by the feel of the stick, which is fine, especially, I guess, if you've been flying a long, long time. But for me, it's really helped me improve my uh, my freestyle flying, my manual mode flying. So I'm going to stick with it, and I just thought I'd pass that on to anyone else out there. Because, uh, like I said, I've never seen any videos on YouTube about this uh, or anybody else using it. Uh, it's just a great tool to improve your flying skills. So there you have it. Now, by the way, the Avada drone does not have a microphone in it, so it's not going to work for the Avada. Uh, if you have the DJI O3 air unit, I believe it'll work with that uh, if you have a microphone in your drone.